Over the years, I've had the opportunity to help many of you transform your GIS data into amazing and powerful maps. Today, I want to show you some of the capabilities ArcGIS Pro has to offer to help you create maps that inform, engage, and inspire. The ArcGIS Pro Base Map Gallery provides an impressive suite of base maps, from the world topographic for exploring environmental phenomena, to the light and dark gray canvas, Oops. for a clean context, to the firefly, which is a desaturated version of the world imagery. You can explore vector tile base maps and other layers from the living atlas. We're adding new ones all the time. Some of these base maps have a clean, journalistic appearance, like the newspaper. Some are youthful and educational, like the colored pencil. And some have a historic look to them, making them all ideal for your specific purpose. I mentioned that mapping and charting solutions are in the process of migrating products from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro, such as this MGCP topographic map. The remaining industry base maps and products are coming in the near future. And so where I left off is when we were talking about imagery. I know that many of you use imagery as a background because it's descriptive and it provides detail. Uh, but in those cases when imagery is not enough uh, to describe the location of features such as protected areas, you may want to consider using terrain to enhance the imagery. So I'm going to start by adding the multi-dimensional, multi-directional hill shade to my uh, Firefly imagery base map. I'm going to adjust the layer transparency. And I'm going to adjust the color ramp in such a way as to highlight the, the shaded parts of my hill shade. I'm also going to adjust the dynamic range. So I'm just using the extent of the data that's in the data frame. Similarly, I can add uh, a digital elevation model to simulate a layer of fog in the low-lying areas. Now we can easily see that protected areas here are located at the higher elevations. Use your map purpose and message to inform your map creation process. Once you have the most appropriate base map, you can turn your attention to styling your thematic data. Rather than simply scattering multicolored dots and labeling them with contrasting halos, apply the same care and attention to style this data so you can engage your audience. In this case, when creating a map of culturally significant Lakota places, I used recognizable icons and a script typeface. Let's take a look at an example of a print product designed for elementary school children from the Lower Burl Sioux tribe to take home and engage in conversations with their grandparents about the places that matter in their language and culture. Incredibly flexible support for color transparency and vector symbology allow you to finish print quality products like this one entirely in ArcGIS Pro. Now I'm going to switch gears from designing print to web maps. On the web, the same cartographic principles apply. Maps need to engage and inspire people. This is probably not the effect of simply displaying 80 years worth of disaster data at the county level. What can we do to simplify and process this data to remove distracting data artifacts? What can we do to categorize it and group it to engage our audience? I've blurred the text on the following pages so we can focus just on the cartography. We can start by using the Generate Tessellations geoprocessing tool to resample the data into hexagons. Next, a divergent color scheme would be more appropriate to highlight the areas which have experienced above and below average number of disasters. And finally, the legend would be more meaningful if it uses the number of years between disasters rather than disaster counts for an 80-year time period. 
Many of the geoprocessing tools generate meaningful map results right out of GIS Pro. This allows viewers to easily identify areas with significantly high or low number of natural disasters. Finally, trying to visualize too much at once can be confusing. So try to present your, your data, uh, try to present your findings in multiple maps or use a consistent color scheme like I have and transparency to assemble the data. Now this map informs and can be used to stimulate a conversation about how the country could be divided into emergency management regions or divisions. In order to engage web viewers quickly, sometimes rather than drawing simple dots, you need a neon style. With the Firefly style recently published on the ArcGIS Pro blog, you can create eye-catching visualizations such as this one. You can find this and many other good map examples on our Story Maps and Maps We Love websites. The previous two examples I showed you showed how to simplify the map. In this next example, I'd like to explore how to embellish it. So I have a confession. I'm not the first cartographer in this town. Back when times were simpler and internet connectivity wasn't an issue, George Washington drew this map in 1766 by hand. Wouldn't it be nice if we can extract the textures from this map and create an RGIS Pro style? Then we can take modern street data and style it with George Washington's pen. Thank you. This would make your map a work of art and still come in handy when exploring DC's historical sites. I hope I've inspired you to keep creating great maps with ArcGIS Pro. Please visit the blogs, our blogs and workshops to learn more.